In this video, I'm going to explain how to use the Tag Manager of the online HTML editor. Here you can generate new elements, replace them or delete certain parts of them. We can work with iframes, tables, links, spans, images, forms, lists and any other tag we want. We can delete their tag attributes, delete their opening and closing tags, leaving behind only the content inside or we can choose to completely remove the elements, including their content. We can replace tags, or create new ones with the plus icons, and to convert tables and lists to structured divs. To execute an operation, click an arrow button. For example, to remove all images from the page, press this one. Let's try a few examples with our demo. I'm deleting the tables and everything inside of them, clicking this button. But what happens if I delete the table tags but not the content inside? That will take the content, text, images and other elements out of the table. I can remove tag attributes from table tags with this button. Let's say I want to replace spans with strong tags. I'm writing strong in the span row and I'm pressing the replace command. I can set up new rules, for example this is how I replace h1 tags with paragraphs. Let's say I want to replace table tags with divs. This solution works fine if I want to display the table cells stacked as block elements. The Tag Manager has this dedicated table to div converter which will let you style the divs as a table. As you can see, it added these classes to each new div. Using the CSS style sheet from divtable.com, you can lay out your divs to look like a table. I haven't explained the plus icons yet. They are for creating new elements, for example, I'm adding an iframe setting up the URL and the dimensions. When you have many documents and you have to execute the same tasks for every one of them, you don't have to click through the same arrows all the time. Check the desired options and execute them all with the arrow at the top. This was the Tag Manager, now I'm going to talk about the HTML Cleaner.